my friend, what's up? Today we talk about the cost of clutter. We've, we've talked about clutter in other classes. If you didn't see, go back in the classes and watch the classes in sequence in our website, voceaprendeagora.com, and listen to this text. We all live with some clutter, but clutter can cost you in more ways than one. Consider these points. 1. Money. Everything costs something. Think about it. We've all bought something, used it a few times, and then never used it again. Well, everybody makes mistakes, right? But the next time you're getting ready to buy something, ask yourself, do I really need it? 2. Time. Have you ever spent an hour or more looking through all your stuff for your keys, your wallet or your watch, then your clutter is costing you time. 3. Space. If you aren't using something, it's taking up valuable space in your home. This is space you can use for something you really need or just for living. Number 4. Happiness. Clutter can cost you happiness. Listen. Maybe you've had something for a long time. You liked it a lot when you bought it, but now you hate it. So why live with it? 5. Pride. Are you embarrassed when someone visits you without an invitation because your home is so messy? Then your clutter is making you feel bad about yourself and is limiting your opportunity to be with friends. Now, I read sentences to you and you tell me if they are true, false, or if it doesn't say according to the text. Listen. You should think carefully before you buy something new. If you often lose things in your home, you may have too much clutter. If you have a messy home, you shouldn't invite your friends there. Now, according to the text, what are the costs of clutter? I told you five costs. What are these five costs? Go to our website, voceaprendeagora.com, to check your answers. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next time.